Hi guys, it's Miss Sisty here with Cycle 3 Week 7. Um, I have not actually done all of this yet. I'm going on vacation, so I am recording this uh, for my sub and for you guys. So uh, we will jump into what I have planned. Um, for geography, I was just going to um, label the states and have them find them. They're pretty big states, so they're easier to find than some of the smaller ones. And so generally what I would do is just say, all right, in St. Paul, Minnesota, we're gonna draw a square or a circle or put an X, something really easy, and just have them go through the states like that and draw a little symbol inside of them. And then we'll say, okay, what was the state that had the square now? It was St. Paul, Minnesota. Let's say that together, St. Paul, Minnesota. And then have them maybe erase the one with the square and we'll say it again together. So that's what I was gonna do for geography. For um, timeline, um, my plan was to hide the cards around the room like I do, um, and then sing through the song while they're finding the cards. Um, we have seven kids in my class, so there's usually seven cards, so that works out well for them finding one card each. When they find a card, they come and sit down, and then I go through and do the hand motions, and whoever has that card hands their card to me, and we lay them out on the table. So um, we have Jesus the Messiah, finally, the one they all get really excited about doing. So for Jesus, we're going to um, touch our fingertip to, um, to our palms like this, um, representing the nails put in Jesus' hands. So Jesus, and then Messiah, like we've done for our royalty and rulers, we're going to make a sash that goes from your left shoulder down to your right hip. We're going to make an M, which is three fingers over top of your thumb for an M. So for Messiah, it will go from your shoulder down to your hip. So Jesus, the Messiah. And then it kind of holds it out and I, I, all the kids have to put their arms up. It's like the angels are singing hallelujah. So, um, and then it says year 1 AD, year 1 AD. And we have Pentecost. And that was when they um, spoke in tongues and they had the... Um, fire above their head. So we're going to bring our finger out from our mouth. That's speaking. And then your hands are kind of staggered. So one's a little bit higher and you're just going to kind of take them up like this. And this is fire. Okay. So Pentecost and the early church. So we're going to make a C for church and it was founded on the rock. So we're going to put a C on our wrist for, for the rock. Okay. We have persecution spreads the gospel. So um, persecution is going to um, go back and forth like this. And then um, it's going to spread the gospel. And so the go we're going to take a G for the gospel and we're going to spread it. Basically is what we're doing. Okay. Then we have Herod's temple destroyed by Titus. So we're going to make an H for Herod. And then we have a T and the temple is here so it's like um solid like the church was so the temple and then destroyed it's gonna we're gonna take our hands and kind of wipe them like we're destroying everything so destroyed um by titus so we're gonna make a t for titus this is a t okay so herod's temple destroyed by titus and then we have diocletian which is a d so diocletian and then he's going to divide so we're just going to take it and kind of divide the roman empire and then we have constantine so we're going to make a c and we're going to do it like this because he's a ruler so constantine legalizes we have christianity this is our sign again like we did for jesus but for christianity and then we have india which i always point here and it was a, a rich ruler the dynasty so we're going to do our yellow for gold coming down from our ear okay so that is timeline. For English, I had, I really try not to print a lot for class. I try to keep it very stick and sand, um, but there's a lot of these uh, irregular verbs and so I'm just trying to mix it up too. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this paper that um, I printed off CC connected forever ago. So you can make something simple like this. You just need the words on there. And then you're going to take one of you know our plastic cups and they will take their cup and they will just put it on the circle. So to rise, rise, rises, rose, rising, risen. And then you can turn them up and they can do their cup this way. To rise, rise, rises, rose, rising, risen. Okay? And they can do it quietly, they can do it soft, or quietly, they can do it loudly, they can do it slowly. 
however you want to do it. This is just something for them to move and jump. That is English. Um, for history, I don't have them because I have given them to myself. I have little tiny guitars. That's not one, but they're just little ones I got from the dollar store. Uh, the, the song has a lot of guitar in, in it, so I figured they could play it and listen to it a few times. You can change out silly words if you want to, um, but sometimes it's nice to just let them listen to the song and hear it. Um, they sometimes don't get to hear it a lot in class, so it's good. Or in, Yeah, in class normally I don't always play it. I usually sing it. So sometimes it's nice to just let them listen to it so they can hear it a few times, play their guitars, can walk around the room while they're playing the guitars, or let them stand up and play, do a guitar solo for you um, and listen to the history song. For Latin, we'll be doing our Leo the Latin Lion. Again, that is with my sub right now, um, but he's just the lion puppet, and I made little um, origami folded lion puppets, which if you are in the tutor group on Facebook, uh, there is a link to that, and if I can find that, I will try to put it on this video just in case you aren't in that Facebook group. It's like one of those fortune tellers like we, we did when we were in middle school, and you you know put the numbers and the colors, and then you would, you would take them and you'd go like this with them. But it's like that, and it's a lion, and it makes a little puppet, and they're super easy to use. So we're just going to do our Latin lions for Latin. So we have Vita, which is Vita, sorry, Vita, which is light, uh, Lux, Homo, Homonum, and Nomen are the Latin for this week. For science, we have uh, hand motions. So urinary tract, they always love this one. You just kind of hold like you got to go potty in the urinary tract. And then we have lungs and then we have our skin and then our intestines we're going to kind of reference what we did last week so we're going to take our finger and go in our lower abdomen just kind of go back and forth like all of our intestines that are wrapped up in our lower abdomen so that will be science um for math again i have all of my papers with my sub but it, i have a sheet printed that looks like this but with the 13s and um, i have little finger puppets that they can put and they're just going to point to the numbers as they go through and they sing the 13s which hooray we only have one set of numbers for this week to get through seven times so um, again it's a sheet that looks like this with the 13s if you're in the tutor group it is in the file section it just said thir it says 13 skip counting sheet i think they ha she has them um for all of the numbers, I think up to 15 so far, I think. Um, so they're super handy. They're great for at home. Uh, they are in color. So I just printed them in black and white for my class. Um, and then let's see. That is all, all that. Wow. Okay. So um, for art, I left my sub with this really cool paper for oils. So it just kind of explains what each part of the oils is. They can practice drawing that part of the oils in there. Um, I also gave her a simple uh, drawing that goes along with oils. There's tons of resources out there. Uh, I'm not going to try to be the most awesome art resource, but because there's so many that are better than I am. Um, but just if you look up oils, it, there's a lot out there. Simple drawings for your kids. But one of my favorite things to do for the first week is to let them use their colored pencils and say, okay, we're going to draw two orange circles on our paper and let them draw their two orange circles wherever they want to. And then say, okay, we're going to draw with our purple pencil. We're going to draw four purple dots and let them draw their dots. And then we're going to switch to our green pencil and we're going to draw one big line on our paper. And then we're going to draw angle lines and then we're going to draw wavy lines and however many you want to do. There's not a right and wrong, but they're all drawing the same components, but everybody's picture is going to look different. And it's a really fun way to start off and just show that we are all going to be drawing and we might all try to be drawing the same thing, but everybody's is going to look different. Yours isn't going to look like mine. Mine isn't going to look like yours. We all have the same things on our paper, but it's different. And God made us all differently. We all have similar things, but we're all a little different and we're all works of God's art. And just like your art is beautiful and it's different from somebody else's, we're all beautiful because we're different. So it's a really fun way to start off with art because sometimes they can get frustrated, especially as we go along and are doing more um, like teacher or tutor led drawings. And I just don't want them to get frustrated. I just want them to know that their art is beautiful no matter what it looks like. So 
that's what we're gonna do for oils. Um, for science, we start the my body stuff. And um, let me grab the book really fast. My favorite book is for the my body. Besides the my body book is this book right here, which is the Basher Science Book for the Human Body. Um, it has super fun things. So like for the liver, for example, it has this fun picture. And then it has just three simple facts about it, a little paragraph, and it's all written in first person, like the liver is talking to you. And then at the bottom, it has things like the deepest side is six inches, the weight is about 3.3 pounds, and the relative size of a human liver in children is 5% of the body weight, and in adults, it's 2.5%. So your liver is, is more of your body weight when you're a kid. Um, so it just has different fun little things like that, and I'm pretty sure it has every component that we do for the my body just a little something extra to read it's got little funny tidbits um like i said it's just really interesting so this is the bachelor science human body book um so that's my favorite extra for science um but yeah again i i haven't done all this this week so i can't say um it went really well or that i would have changed this but hopefully it goes really well Hopefully it goes well for you guys. Um, I will not be on for a week because we have fall break and we are also going on vacation. So I'll be gone a week and then I'll be back with week eight. So hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.